Another episode of Just a Sip at Night Bonfire Edition. We're the Roadkill Bros. Yeah, it's a sexy time with some wine. That's right, it is. Dode and Ethan. Uh, Chamberson. Yeah, tonight we've got the Chamberson. Uh, we, in our previous episode, we did the Viognier. And uh, this Chamberson is completely uh, new to them in the sense that they're going with a whole different style and how to make it. Uh, they do have their previous vintage of Chamberson available, but this one I tried it out just right out of the tank and it's delicious. So Al you know, fixed me up, uh, Al is the winemaker by the way, and he fixed me up a bottle of this uh, to take home. And I've got the little uh, soiree uh, wine aerator on there since we're not taking the time to let it decant. But this is a pretty delicious red wine, and I um, hope that uh, you guys enjoy it with us here. That's always important to try, and if you're giving a good depiction of what a wine is, try and aerate it one way or the other. Um, but I just found this nifty little device online, and uh, at fab.com, a year, two years ago, something like that. And uh, it's worked really well for me. So this wine smells really grapey. Um, <clears throat> like a sour grape almost. Um, you get a little bit of the savory notes in the smell whenever you're scrolling around there. Um, but pretty clean smell. You don't have any nasty undertones or anything like that. Sometimes with red wines, and maybe this is just me because I'm not a big red wine guy, um, I find that they smell a little bit like grass to me sometimes, and then sometimes they'll have that greenish sort of leafy flavor, and that's not very good to me. But this one yeah. doesn't smell that way at all. Yeah, it's definitely got, you know, I get, whenever the campfire sounds in my face, I get a little <laughs> bit of uh, sort of like the, definitely like the sourness, but like a very fresh, sour sort of thing. But a lot of, like the big thing for me is like a blackberry scent, uh, this, this go around. And it's definitely, uh, definitely very fruity on the nose. And it tastes so fruity. Uh, so much better than so many other red wines that I've had. And maybe it's just that it hasn't been aged. I don't know what kind of difference that makes. I would love to try the older Chamberson that they had. Although you said they went with a different sort of style with that as well. It is completely different. Whereas this one is, uh, if you're... Obviously, it's at night, so it's you know a little too sexy to get the real color profile of it on the camera. But it's a nice sort of ruby, uh, like dark ruby red um, colors there, and a little bit of purple. Nice mixture of color in there. It's really beautiful. The previous one, it was almost had a little bit of like uh, sort of dark red brick color. Oh. You see in like the red brick buildings <laughs> in downtown St. Louis or those uh, really attractive red wines yeah red campus at uh, University of Mizzou uh, University of Missouri aka Mizzou um, but yeah this thing it, it's got a beautiful flavor to it and it's completely different than the previous one it's uh, reminiscent of a uh, to me a little bit like a Beaujolais Nouveau from two years ago that Louis Jadot put out it's just beautiful which is also a uh, wine that's just it's made and it's you know, pumped out and shipped yeah. out, and this one's fresh. It hasn't been aged any. It'll be interesting to see where this is a year and a half, two years from now. But uh, mm. it's definitely very fruity, kind of jam quality. Yeah. Um, and definitely that sort of dark berries sort of thing going on. Yeah, almost a little hint of like a blackberry or a blueberry back there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Very, like a little bit of floral sort of you know, like a rose water sort of thing, not necessarily like the green part of a flower, just like the yeah. nice, fresh floral bits going on there. It's very refreshing. <clears throat> and uh, Definitely one of the best red wines that I've tried. And like yeah. I said, it could be because it's a fresh wine, it's not been barreled. Yeah. I'm really not too certain. Uh, I can't wait to talk to Al again yeah. and uh, go a little more in-depth about the new wines before they're barreled, uh, just so I can learn a little more about that. Yeah. I'll tell you what, this is a great wine. Because I, I'm definitely, uh, I've seen the Viognier out there before. Uh, is something very new to me, but uh, it's, it's, now it's a favorite of mine, that's for sure. Yeah. And the, uh, and, you know, once again, this is from Crown Valley. They're down in southeast Missouri in St. Genevieve County. So, I mean, if you're anywhere in Missouri, try and look around. I know up in St. Louis, uh, in the St. Charles area, they have a, a wine store uh, up there.
there where they carry their wines. You can find them in plenty of local shops. Really quickly, uh, what does it pair with? Uh, to pair this, I mean, uh, I think we did it with sort of a, well, we did the old one with a barbecue type thing. And I think this would still pair well with something Spicy. like that. Yeah, but yeah, maybe like a little little bit spice going on. Um, it's, it's very fruity and you know, definitely more uh, where the Viognier that we tried in the last episode was sort of more on the sweet side of the middle of the ground. This one is very middle, kind of dry a little bit, but uh, the flavor is very pleasing. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's definitely, you know, a little spice in there, but good with the sugary stuff or good with the sort of slow roasted uh, type of meals. I think it'd be great for if you were braising some sort of meat or something and there's a lot of sweetness in there. You'll, you know, just a nice mix of spices like you are yeah. talking about. But, uh, yeah, so we hope that uh, you guys enjoy this wine if you can find it or look for another Chamberson in your area if you're not yeah. in the Missouri area. <clears throat> but definitely if you are here, check out Crown Valley. They're doing a lot of really cool things. Yeah. Uh, we're pretty excited about it. I'm glad to have been out there and tried a lot of their new stuff. It's been, it's been a blast working with them, actually. Yeah. Well, uh, hopefully if you can see us through the smoke there, uh, you just got to say thanks for watching and hope you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. And it's been another wonderful episode of Just a Sip. Cheers.